Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here, and today we are here with the 2010 FIFA World Cup Legendary Runs. We're back again. We've got Honduras today. I decided to do Honduras because um, a few people were basically like spamming it in the comments, and I was like, yeah, all right, let's do Honduras. Let's satisfy those Honduras people. So we got the teams here. Let's just um, check out which group we are in for Honduras. Um, I remember looking at Honduras uh, in the World Cup. And I was like, I've never heard of that nation when I, when I was like younger, obviously. So the group we got here is Portugal, Iceland and Hungary. So we're basically sandwiched in a all European group. Remember, the game isn't very good at designating which groups and what teams go in where unless you do a qualification run. So who have we got on our squad then? We've got um we got Manuel Figueroa, who I'm fairly sure used to play for Wigan. Am I Right in saying that, um, we got Wilson Palacios, of course. Um, I'm fairly sure he used to play for. I think wasn't it like Spurs? He used to play for. He's rated 81 on this game. Um, we got this guy who's a star player, and we got Suazo as well, who's a star player as well. So yeah, um, Honduras got a good team by the looks of it. I don't know any other substitutes really. Here we are then, Honduras versus Hungary, the first match of this World Cup run. It's great that EA, I don't know if you guys actually know this, but like when the game came out, uh, Honduras actually had unlicensed kits, and so did um, North Korea, and um, a couple of other sides had unlicensed kits. And they gave us a free update midway through the World Cup, so that it would actually give us the free, like, the updated kits. So obviously now Honduras have got their licensed kit. It's really nice that back then EA gave us stuff for free like that, you wouldn't get the, that these days. So if you want my early prediction for Honduras, um, I feel that if I have a good run, we can get to the quarterfinal. And I feel like Honduras have the the talent to get far in this World Cup. In the real life World Cup, they didn't get out the group stage. Let's hope that this team can get into gear early. I want like Palacios making plays in midfield. I want um, the strikers to be on form as well. That's what I'm looking for. A high scoring run. Goes for the shot and off the post. Very unlucky by Pavon. Perhaps maybe I should have done Honduras from the actual groups. Perhaps. Because I would have got special commentary. Right now I'm kind of struggling to get forward against Hungary. Like I know they're a decent team. And the fact that I've been placed into an all European group has put me at a massive disadvantage. Can this guy get it? Swazo, come on. Yes, okay, he's got it. There was a foul in the build-up. Let's get it out to the wing. Let's cross it in and see if someone can header it. It was headed, but just, well, it was actually pretty far wide. Apart from a few shots, and I mean a very few shots, we've been quite poor, a little bit boring maybe. Through ball here, Swazo. He's in behind. This is a great opportunity for Honduras, but they couldn't take it. I tried to slide it around the keeper, but it went in front of the keeper. Both sides are really, really well matched. Really, really well matched. Like, I'm struggling. Like, most of my runs recently, after winning with Moldova, I've struggled massively to get, like, some of these teams, like, in, in form. Yeah, this defender, this bold defender, he keeps on, like... Like hacking me out and stuff, and finally he gets sent off. He's been a bit of a nuisance. Finally, he he gets his marching orders. Another foul by Hungary. I mean, they're seeing the danger of Honduras. And a decent ball, and a cut down in the box, and it's a penalty to Honduras. That move was really good. Hungary have been constantly fouling me, and I feel that I deserve this. I absolutely deserve this. That's 100% a red card for the substitute who's just come on for the, like, for the guy they were trying to replace in defence. They literally, he couldn't deal with me there. Oh, that was so close to being a clean tackle. He's slightly out the yellow, but it's fine. He scores. Honduras are 1-0 up against Hungary. And finally, we've taken the lead. 82 minutes have taken us to score. It might have been slow for us, but we finally got the... Well, we're on to a win anyway. We haven't got it yet. We should be overloading Hungary. I feel like like we just missed a bit of an opportunity to do that. Here we go. Oh, off the bar. I think that was Palacios off the bar. 
But we get the win anyway. It's 1-0. I'm not disappointed with that result because it's still three points. But I feel like because they went down to nine men, I feel like we should have overloaded them at the end. But we just didn't. But it's fine. A 1-0 win is okay. Our second match of this group stage is against Portugal. The big match for Honduras. Can we somehow get a win here? I mean, I don't think that we were too impressive against Hungary. But... Like I said, the win is a win. If Honduras had their kits fully licensed and obviously their players and stuff, um, why couldn't EA just like put their manager in there as well? That would have been a nice touch, you know. I feel like all the 32 qualified teams should have at least had their manager. I feel like here, if I can get a draw, then it's a fair result like for Honduras. Actually, it's probably more than fair. It's probably actually a ridiculous result for Honduras. Oh, no, you got to head that. Oh, that was so... Oh, my God, really? The game really wanted that ball to go into the back of the net. And Samal, in front of the Honduras faithful, makes it 1-0. That was so, so annoying. Like, I went to header it, and he didn't header it. And then it created this little scramble, and he was already there, waiting for the shot. We need to find a way to get back into this game. I feel like Honduras, early on, anyway, early on, they just don't have, like, sort of, like the pace or strength to actually deal with teams like Portugal. I mean, look, Liedson's going right through. Defence was all over the place, and they score near post. Goalkeeper should have had that covered. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good at the moment. I'm trying my hardest to get this team, like, into gear, and they just can't seem to, like, get into gear. It feels like I'm getting swarmed. Like, recently, this game has been very, very unkind towards me. Through ball here. Go on, go for the shot. Oh, no. Oh, Pepe was in the way. Honduras could have had a chance. Could have had the chance to make it 2-1. Crossed in and that ball was not brilliant. It didn't even go in the box. It went to the outskirts of the box. No. Oh, my. There's no effort here. There's no effort from this team. Defensively, this team is so poor. There was a guy right there by Liedson, and he didn't even jump for it properly. And the goalkeeper flapped it as well. That's an easy save if I've ever seen it. Honduras are nowhere close to winning this World Cup at the moment. 3-0 down against Portugal at half-time. They are shocking at the moment. Like, this, like Sometimes like three-star teams can be very deceiving. They might be rated three stars, but oh my god. Go on. Oh my god, how do you miss that? Right in front of goal and it skims the post. Okay, here comes Suazo. He's going to get chucked, chucked off the ball, isn't he? Off the post and oh my goodness, this team. Crossed in by Portugal, header, and it was a goal, but it was offside. We're not going to give up, of course. We're going to try and get this goal. And here comes Pavon now. He's outpaced Pepe. And he shoots and he misses. He shoots again and he scores. Finally, we get the goal. It might be a consolation, but it doesn't matter. At least he's got a goal now. And it's 3-1 to Portugal still. There's 15 minutes to play. If Honduras get their act together, they might be able to get a couple more goals. Look at this. Nobody's coming forward. I need support on these kind of plays. But no, I end up passing it to the, the player there. And we... Here we go, we got a chance, and it's a good save, a fantastic save by the Portuguese goalkeeper. That was going top goal on the corner, and um, yeah, no, that was a fantastic save. Look at this for a save, good save. Well, we lost 3-1 against Portugal, and we deserved that loss. We were really, really lacklustre in every single department on the football pitch. Defensively... We weren't even there. Midfield didn't really control the midfield, obviously. Didn't get the balls upwards. Didn't really defend against, like, sort of, like, the oncoming attack. And then the striking, apart from the goal that we scored, wasn't very good at all. So, Portugal are top with six points. We've got second place only by literally one goal on goal difference. Um, we got to hope that Portugal beat Hungary. And we got to hope that we either draw or win against Iceland because an Iceland win could potentially put them into second. I mean, their goal difference won't help them, but there's every chance they could beat me like 5-0 with my defending. 
final match of the group stage then is against Iceland. One that we should be winning, really. I feel like at this point in time, Honduras were better than Iceland. All depends on what happens in the other game as well. If Hungary beat Portugal, then I'm pretty much screwed. Oh, that's a bad foul. That could be a red card. Uh, no, nothing. Thanks for that ref. Go on, cross this into the box and get a head off. Oh, why would you go for the kick in that situation? Header of the ball. Through ball here. Okay, well, it wasn't really the through ball I was looking for, but we're still through anyway. And off the bar. Why would why why did the shot go up in the air when I just wanted it to go on the ground? Look at this. Like Honduras are so spread out and defence. They really are so spread out. I don't understand how a half could be this bad from Honduras. They they had a couple of shots, but defensively we're all over the place. Look at this. Like they're letting Iceland just come onto them, and they almost scored against me. Have a shot? Oh, okay. Well, that was a very nice strike. How's that not a foul? Like, he literally fouled me off the ball. And the ref's like, no, no foul. I feel like I'm getting screwed in this World Cup. No, no. Oh, my God. That was so lucky. Like, Iceland are, like, pressing us when they shouldn't be. We're better than Iceland, like, back here. If it was, like, 2018 Iceland, I'd understand. The Portugal game has hurt us. It has hurt us a lot. The way Iceland are playing, they're playing me off the park. Honduras don't seem to want to properly tackle Iceland. It's always just like fouls and stuff like that. This team is extremely incompetent at tackling and defending. They really are. I'm not being mean, but what I'm playing right now, I'm feeling like they're just not up to the task of actually winning a World Cup or getting deep into a World Cup. Okay, okay. All right, all right, come on. you got the chance. Off the post. Oh, my goodness. Honduras, please. I know it's off the post and you can't really do anything about it. But, oh, my days. We had the chance to get into the round of 16 securely. You're the kings of getting late goals. You did it against Portugal and uh, Fingley. Hey, there we go. I told you. I told you. We get the late winner. It's Pavon in the 90th minute to secure qualification into the round of 16. We really struggled in that game. We really struggled. It was a great cross and a fantastic header, but we really, really struggled. Iceland are still pressing. There's still time and he scored! My goodness, this, this terrible defense. They couldn't even do anything. I think we're still through. But that defending was atrocious. That was like the 97th minute. They literally, like, where are Honduras defence? Where are they? They're scrambled all over the pitch. And I'm so triggered right now. Because look at this. There's a wide open gap right there. Goalkeeper should have done way better at that one. Should have cut out the cross before it even got into the box. I can't believe that. That's happened. Um... Twice in two days or something. Not two days, sorry. When was the Moldova run? It was like six days ago or something. But, like, we bottled a lead. Like, we scored in the 90th minute. And then Iceland just comes straight back with some of the most terrible defending I've ever seen on this game. It's lucky that Portugal beat Hungary. Because if Hungary beat Portugal and then we drew that match, I would have been so annoyed about that. I really feel like Honduras did not deserve to go through. And look at our reward for going through. We got Brazil. We're going to get absolutely stomped with the defence we have and everything. We're going to get absolutely done in this match. But... Um, this is your round of 16, so Portugal beat North Korea 4-0, Paraguay beat Croatia on penalties, you've got Chile versus Poland, England versus Ukraine, Brazil, Honduras, Turkey versus Holland, Italy versus Bosnia, and France versus Latvia. This is going to be an impending disaster if we can't get our defence right. Our defence was all over the place in the Iceland game. What are Brazil going to do to us in this one? I mean, attacking-wise, Honduras, we can nab a goal here and there. But it's not lethal, you know what I mean? It's kind of like the attack that just sort of, like, randomly gets goals out of nothing. I think in this game, it will be super impressive if we just even last, like, 45 minutes against Brazil. Crossed in by Brazil. 
And they score. No defending, no goalkeeping on that whatsoever. Let's review this because I want to see how bad that goalkeeping was right in front of goal there. Let's have a look. Early cross, as usual on this game. Defender didn't get anywhere near it and the goalkeeper just watched it go in. Literally, it came in and he just watched it. He was miles out of position as well. Can Palacios... Oh, that was a good strike. Very good, but unfortunately it wasn't anywhere near the corners of the goal. Good play. Oh, fantastic save by Julio Cesar. I actually nutmegged one of the Brazilian defenders on this play. Look, boom. And then oh, all you needed to do was just put a little bit more power on that shot. No. Oh, my goodness. That was very close to being the second for Brazil. Fabinho crosses it in. No defending there at all. And they make it 2-0. The defence is horrible. I've never seen that celebration before. Never seen that one. That's a new one. I've never seen that. Well, he's just got his arms in the air, pointing to the sky. I've never seen that in a cutscene before. Very interesting. But we're 2-0 down, and it doesn't even matter at this point, because I've, I'm fed up with Honduras. I'm fed up with their defence. They put up a bit more of a fight than this. I mean, look at this shambles of a defence right now. That is horrendous. And Luis Fabiano makes it free because I just couldn't clear it on that play. Goalkeeper should have come out for it, but he didn't. And then, the, like, he just basically did nothing. He did nothing of value on the play. And it is 3-0 to Brazil. Shot off the post, of course. Every shot I've had in this run has been off the post or off the bar or something. This team could have been way better than they were. Way better than they were. That run wasn't, like, good, but it wasn't, like, like terrible either. It was just, like, an average run where we sort of scraped out the group stage and then we just failed against a bigger team. I just feel, though, that Honduras, if I'm being positive about the whole thing, I just feel that their defence needs a lot of work. Uh, and the strikers weren't really doing anything either. They were just sort of static and they couldn't really get the chances they needed because the midfield, apart from Wilson Palacios, the, the rest of the midfield is really poor. So France won the World Cup final and England won the third place playoff. So anyway, if you did like this run, then consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Everything you do, any comments or anything like that, likes, dislikes, whatever, it helps the channel massively. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.